Today, one year and almost four months after we launched the sunglasses, this project is coming to an end. We are out of stock of the sunglasses. And that means that we have reached our goal of raising enough funding to clean half a million football fields worth of ocean, which is absolutely great. It's an end of an era, I would say. Now, all these pairs of sunglasses found like a new owner that are holding a piece of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in their hands and taking care of it. That's, yeah, that's amazing. That's indeed full circle, as we always said. It's so great to see all the supporters joining. It included famous people like Nico Rosberg and Chris Pratt. Our oceans are disgusting and polluted and full of, full of garbage. There's a Pacific Garbage Patch in the middle of the Pacific that's twice the size of Texas. And these glasses, what if I told you that these glasses right here are made out of that garbage? Families with children, people from all over the world. Yeah, that was really amazing to see that. And I want to thank all of you for supporting us. Yeah, it's been like the beginning of 2019 when I started this project. So uh, yeah, it's actually a very big milestone. <laughs>With the sunglasses, we, we proved for the first time that we can actually create something from the plastic that we capture from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. The nicest things for me were the days where you were actually being out there, opening those containers, going through the plastic. And it's actually really nice to see it transform because we've seen it from a big pile of garbage and then it, it gets transformed into this granulate and with material like like we have you never know exactly what you're going to get every batch is going to be different so just actually seeing that transformation has been really nice transforming ocean plastic into this wasn't an easy task and i must say it was a great team effort uh, between the ocean cleanup and its partners but also in the ocean cleanup between all different teams. We've learned a lot during this project about the material, about recycling, ocean plastic, finding the boundaries of what is possible and what is not possible. And we can definitely take these learnings onto the next project. Ocean plastic and using ocean plastic in products is something we hear more and more often, which is good because it also creates awareness about the problem, but also shows that the material is actually a valuable resource which can be used again into a new products. But we wanted to take this one step further and really prove that the material that ended up in these sunglasses was the same material that the ocean cleanup extracted from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. And that is why we used a traceability system according to a DNV standard, which was also certified that we, from the extraction from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, all the way through the different partners that we worked with, that the same plastic ended up in this product. The next step is that we are, of course, at the moment, still cleaning the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Uh, System 002, also known as Jenny, is currently out on the Great Pacific Garbage Patch cleaning plastic and she has already cleaned an area of approximately 190,000 football fields. At the moment, we don't know yet what will be the next product. We are currently looking for partners to work with because we also learned that creating products, developing products is a big task and our focus is really the cleanup mission. So that's why we are looking for product partners so that we can actually work together and help them using this plastic in their products. These sunglasses are really the proof of concept that we can recycle ocean plastic into new durable and high quality products. 
that can help fund the continuation of the cleanup mission. I hope you'll continue to wear them and show the world that you are together with us on the mission to rid oceans of plastic.